Hey y'all, it's Halligan here from Noble Hero and the Clash Files podcast, bringing you another Warhammer video. Now this one's an interesting one, because this war came right down to the wire. This was, in uh, the tradition of the Clash Files family, a comeback of epic proportions. I've been playing this game for a long time, been in involved in a lot of comebacks because it seems to be the way that we do it here at Noble and it's a Clash Files. It started with Kent Farmhouse. Uh, it's a Clash Files family tradition of coming back uh, for the, the last minute win, but we were down by five stars at the end and uh, <laughs> It was insane. As a matter of fact, I'm going to, I'm going to show you the, the last bit of events. So we've got one, two, three, four, three stars there. Uh, they had an attack on River Rambo that failed. M. Jez got a three star. Boomer ended up with a two. Adam got a three. Dronzi got a three. And these are all within the last 20 minutes of war. You can see that these last... Uh, uh, four were less than three minutes. I mean, it, it, it says three minutes until war ended on Scott's attack, but it was right at the three minutes. So one, two, three, four stars right there at the very end with MJ uh, really kicking things off there at the end with eight minutes till the end. So it was insane absolutely insane and as a matter of fact uh okay boomers attack on 19 was the one that as time was running down i had been planning and building for number 19 he jumped in uh started a bully attack on that one so i'm like oh boy i gotta get a star somewhere and i chose 27 which, uh, because of that and an earlier three-star mailman decided to give me the hammer. So this is going to be an interesting video. This is the first time that I've done a video of my, my, my own attacks. So we'll start with my first attack. And uh, I, can, I can criticize the heck out of it because just uh, you're always your own worst critic. So let's take, take a look and see... In, what we had. I went back and forth on where I was going to enter with my stone goho and that cannon down there at the the eight o'clock position just kept jumping out at me. So let's come in at that spot, get my golems down to just just shield the whiz for the funnel, get the wall broken up there and now I can drop that last golem Send in the Royals. Now, one of my first criticisms is that I did not use my King's ability, and I was so angry about it. I was worried about getting that jump down so that I could get some of these secondary defenses out of the way. Didn't pull the trigger on the King. So that might have helped take that Queen down. But my queen aggro's on her, and she does go down. So that was important. Bringing in the hogs over here. And both of his skelly traps were right there, so that poison was crucial. Worked out really well. I mean, just see this counterclockwise pattern with the hogs. Make sure that heals come down where they're congregating. One more heal left. We'll drop it there. I tried to get it in advance of the hogs getting there. And you can see why I put my kill squad in from that direction and why that jump was so critical is the uh, double giant bomb set right there. Now something that really killed me as my hogs start doing this cleanup, is you can see that there's only that one double uh, giant bomb set. So there goes one hog off of an outside spring trap. Here I am doing my cleanup. And watch those hogs over there. There's another hog j bouncing away on a spring trap. Look at these top hogs here. 
Boom. Oh, thank goodness they were far enough away that I didn't lose any of them there. Otherwise, cleanup would have been a little bit more difficult. But uh, it worked out well. Time was a little bit of a factor, but not hugely so. I didn't sweat it that terribly much. So, there was my first attack. Now, final seconds of war. Like I said, I was looking at my team. That had a dragon and two balloons in the CC. Once Boom hit that one, I was forced to look at... Oh, uh, who did I hit? 25 or 20... Maybe it was 27. Yep. Everything was happening so fast. Now, 27 had a hound in the CC. And this is with, with like three minutes left on the clock. I, I'm really quickly watching a replay, see that there's a hound in the CC. Uh, quickly gem a healer and a few archers so that I could handle that hound. So this is, I mean, this was like a, a, a farming attack where I only had 30 seconds to prep on this one. So I, could, I found that I could pull the hound out from that position, drop a couple healers, or a couple of archers, put a healer down, and completely forget about that guy. Knew that there was a set of double giant bombs here by the Wiz Tower, so... Wanted to at least get that out of the way. So here comes the golems. We get the funnel set. No real worries with those wall breakers. With those weak walls, I may have thought about putting in two let the golems get in there and let, have the whiz tower target the golems and let the other two take care of, uh, or at least weaken the wall there, and then I could use my jump somewhere else, but it didn't matter. So there's the double giant bomb set that I was really worried about tripping. This time I used my king's ability. So. And here we go with the hogs. And I was sweating. Like I said, everything was, was down to the wire here. I was able to, to get through that other set of giant bombs by tripping them individually. Worked out well with the heel covering it. Another heel on top of these guys. And uh, it was over. And I knew it at this point. I'm, I knew that I had the three star. So I uh, dropped those two archers down here in the, the bottom. And I actually uh, selected the poison spell here. <laughs> yeah. I must have had skeletons to air because I didn't see any of them. Either that or I think maybe at the beginning the king took them out. But I had the poison selected at this point. I didn't want to swag drop it too early <laughs> because, like I said, everything else was going on so uh, so high and tight that I was I was seriously worried. So I think we get to ninety six percent, and uh, I was just about ready to drop it here and uh, lost my opportunity. So no mic drop on this one, but got the hundred percent and uh, got the win. So thank you, mailman, for. Uh, Giving me the hammer. Normally, I'd say great job to whoever whoever got it, but uh, in this case, I'll just say that. Uh, phew! Glad I could, could glad I could finally contribute to my clan's win. So, thank you all for watching. You can follow me on Twitter at ds halligan, and make sure to check out the podcast, The Clash File. It's available on iTunes or wherever you get your favorite podcasts. So until the next time we bring the hammer down, I'm Halligan, and you're not.